One of the most powerful and moving plays I think I've ever seen. Why did the script speak to you so much? Uh, it was so truthful and it's so naturalistic. Yeah. Um, and because I live literally right where it's set, so the dialect is so similar to mine and the rhythm of it is fantastic. Uh, so the play's about, um, it's, it's set in Thamesmead on the council state where there's three hat, uh, three hat, three flats next to each other. Um, and then you've got the three children that are in one um, flat each. And then the relationship between Jamie, who I play, um, and, and his mum, Sandra, and how that works. And then kind of the coming of age um, as a 15-year-old for Jamie, the progress over a couple of weeks, how he grows up. Um, and then the, the, the experience of love that they experience between Jamie and Steve. Uh, but it's got everything. It's comical. Yeah. It's got everything. Yeah, it's very, very funny. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Yeah, yeah. People say that it's a comedy, which it is. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it has a you know a very special special message to give. I think. I think with Steve, um, you know, he has the kind of domestic violence side of things with his dad and his brother. Um, you know, he has a very different kind of a relationship with his family than, than Jake does. You know, obviously Jake doesn't have a dad, but, you know, he's very close to his mum in many ways. I mean, Sandra and Jamie, it's incredible how similar their relationship is compared to mine and my mum's. It's such a similar relationship. When you read the script and you thought, right, I want to audition for this, how do you feel that, you, how did you get the part? Why were you right for it as individual actors? Um, I, uh, I, I just came along and I think Jamie is very similar to me, kind of, in that sense. He's got the same, yeah. same very similar personality traits. Um, and I just literally read it and thought that I could give it an act. So, yeah, come back, like, had a couple of auditions and then found out I got it. So it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm, I'm still technically in drama school. I'm, I'm training at the arts educational schools. You know, hello, guys, to everyone that's out there. And Chris Hocking, I know you're going to want to give me give you a shout out. Um, but, yeah, it's, um, I think... I auditioned, at the time I was working with Nikolai, I was working him on a production called Kiss of the Spider Woman, which is a Kander and Ed McNally um, musical, um, and um, Nikolai was currently searching for the, the role of Steve, and um, Jamie couldn't come in for one of the auditions one day, he'd already been given the role, and he had to, um, and he had to kind of read in for the people that were auditioning, so um, Nikolai asked me to do it, so I come in and read through, and then they all kind of said, oh, actually he's right for it. And then I auditioned and now I'm here. Like and there's huge chemistry between you two on stage. It is amazing. What do you think this um, play could do for gay rights in an ideal world? Um, I think it would be amazing if you could get people to the confidence to kind of come out, I suppose, and to, and to just feel free because that's what they do at the end of the play and, and just to not be afraid of who you are. Yeah, um, that would exactly. Be yeah, love is love at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the, the song that you um, that you come out to after after the show, me and Nikolai chose it, it's called, um, it's called, um, what is it called? Wait a minute, it's by Macklemore and it's called uh, Same Love. And it's an amazing song, and I think that you know, if, if all of you at home listen to that song, I think that spreads the message that me and Jamie, uh, me, me and Jake are trying to kind of spread it ourselves. I think, yeah, I think not just for people that are gay as well that are trying to come out. I think for people that don't understand. I think it's not necessarily that a lot of people are ignorant to it. I just think they don't understand, and they've been brought up around people that are very old school that are against it. You know what I mean? That that's what really struck me. That actually, if you don't know anyone who's gay, and if you haven't actually experienced it, this is the play that you need to see because it just shows it in such a real way. The the conversation that you have with your mum when you're coming out. I mean, how did you find acting that? Um, it, it, it was it was a tough one, but I I think it, the writing is so fantastic by Jonathan Harvey that it's so easy to it, get on that emotional level um, as an actor. Um, and I just completely believed in it because, as I said, it's so true and so naturalistic that it was easy to to go with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just saying, Nikolai's amazing as well. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic, yeah, the director. Definitely. Nikolai yeah. Foster, fantastic. Definitely. Jonathan, are, yeah. As a company, like, everyone is so tight. Everyone gets on so well, you know. It's just so it's so reassuring for me coming out as my professional debut, you know, and working with working with such a fantastic cast. You know, not just Jake, as much as I love in the pieces and we work so well, you know, Zara and, and Saran and, um, and, um, uh, and, and everybody else, yeah. Like, and Ollie as well, like, they're all so nice. And, and I think that's why we have such good chemistry because we get on outside of the play as well you know just transfers on stage what are you going to do after this where are you going to go don't know really don't, know. See what happens, nothing don't have a clue no. maybe a holiday yeah maybe two no. Definitely have a holiday, but it will be hard to beat this. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is stunning. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can and keep going. I think going, that's why we're yeah. making the most of it and giving the best that we can. Huge congratulations, Jenny. Have you heard that? You know, Stephen Fry said it's the most beautiful, stunning play about gay love. That's yeah, yeah, that's because yeah. he didn't come today, but he's going to come see it. I think. Yeah. yeah. Which would be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to meeting him. He's yeah, yeah. Bloody Me amazing. Too.
He's, he's, no, he's a big fan of QI. That's all he talks about. Oh, so I love facts. He's going to be more excited than me, but yeah, yeah, I'll be very excited to meet him still. Massive fan. Yeah, yeah. Big fan of Stephen Fry. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll let you go. Enjoy your night. Massive, massive congratulations.